Hello students of grade 11 and welcome to yet another lesson on the present tense. In this lesson, you will be introduced to the present continuous tense and you will get an idea of how and when you are to use it when you speak and write. The present continuous tense is a verb tense that is used to show that an ongoing action is happening now, frequently and may continue in the future. So let's look at an example. Sarat is watching TV. Is watching is in the present continuous. It is obvious that Sarat is currently watching TV and may even continue to watch TV in the near future. So now that you have some idea of what the present continuous tense can be used, let's look at how it is formed. To be, that is am, is, are, plus verb, present participle. Saranga is cooking dinner while Shanti finishes some urgent work. In this, is cooking is your present continuous tense. Is is a conjunction from the verb to be and the present participle of the verb cook is cooking. Let's look at the structure more closely. Subject plus auxiliary be conjugated in present simple am, are, is plus main verb which is in your present participle ending with ing. The auxiliary verb be is conjugated in the present simple am, are, is. The main verb is invariably in the present participle form ending with ing. For negative sentences, we insert not between the auxiliary verb and the main verb. Look at the example displayed on the screen. We are not walking to school today. See where the not is placed. It is between the auxiliary verb and the main verb. For question sentences, we exchange the subject and the auxiliary verb. So a simple sentence like Pravan is eating would be changed to Is Pravan eating? The present continuous tense, which is also known as the present progressive, is known to add energy and action to writing. It helps readers understand exactly when the action takes place. So let's look at where exactly the present continuous tense is used. Use the present continuous with normal verbs to express an idea that is happening now, at this very moment. What are you doing right now? You are learning about the present continuous tense. I am conducting a lesson. The present continuous is also used to show something that is not happening now. For example, I am not walking to the supermarket. Use number two. In English, when we use the term now, it could mean right this moment, this second, today, this month or this year. We use the present continuous to indicate that we are in the process of doing a longer action, though we might not be doing it at this exact moment. Supposing, for example, a relative of yours comes to your place and asks you, What are you doing right now, Puta? You can reply saying, I'm sitting for my O-levels this year, so I'm studying like crazy. Notice how we have used the present continuous tense in this dialogue. It doesn't mean that you are doing your O-levels currently. It could mean that you are sitting for it in the near future, end of the month, in two weeks, or even in a year. Let's look at some examples to support what we just learnt. I am studying to become a doctor. I am not studying to become a dentist. I am reading the book Tom Sawyer. I am not reading any books right now. Are you working on any special projects at work? Aren't you teaching at the university now? 
I hope these examples helped you understand the second use better. Let's look at use number three. We use the present continuous tense to show that something will or will not happen in the near future. So what is the near future? Near future means in a short time or very soon. For example, I'm heading home in a little while or after this lesson. Or are you visiting your parents next week? Now that you are familiar of when to use the present continuous tense, let's look at an exercise. You are asked to include either the simple present or the present continuous tense. Let's do it together. Using the words in parenthesis, complete the text below with appropriate tenses. Every Monday, Sally drives her kids to football practice. Usually, I work as a secretary at ABT, but this year I am studying English at a language school in Colombo. Shh, be quiet, Asanka is sleeping. Don't forget to take your umbrella. It is raining outside. I hate living here because it rains always. I'm sorry, I can't hear what you say because everybody is talking so loudly. Sanisha is writing a book about his adventures in down south. Jim, do you want to come over for dinner tonight? Dennis, oh I'm sorry, I, I can't. I, I'm going to a movie tonight with some friends. The business cards are printed by a company in Colombo. Their prices are rather expensive, yet the quality of their work is quite good. I have decided that I am retiring this year. I hope this made sense to you. So now you have an idea of when to use both the simple present tense and the present continuous tense. If you enjoyed this lesson, please do subscribe to our channel and gain access to many more lessons like the one you just saw. Till next time, goodbye.